Well, hello, Facebook and YouTube. I just have a quick, oh, I don't know if you really want to call it a rant or not, but it's just how crazy things are getting these days. And then right after this, I'll be back and I will get into it. See you in a couple. I'm back, just as I promised. Okay, there's just a couple things I really want to touch on. That it's just crazy how this world is getting. So, bear with me. The first one is the vaping. I understand that they want to keep it out of you know the reach of children. I understand all that, but now, thanks to careless teenagers or the parents or whoever's getting it for them or you know st people selling it off the streets whatever now they're gonna make all the adults pay so basically what they're gonna do is a lot of places are trying to uh, um, ban it you know all flavored e-cigs and you know I I'll admit vaping got me off cigarettes that's why I quit I was able to vape and so you know I don't think they should ban all the flavors I think they should crack down on the people who give it to the kids or whatever instead of making all the adults pay you know because uh, you know there's a lot of people that own um, vaping stores you know they've started businesses and all that and like when they shut all these flavors you know they get rid of all these flavors then a lot of people are going to go back to cigarettes and all that so I, I you know I don't think they should you know definitely do that I think they ought to take the people who own businesses into consideration they want the economy to boom but yet they're you know all they're going to do is they're just going to send you know the people who are still vaping they're gonna send them back to cigarettes and you know so I guess maybe the tobacco company might have something to do with this who knows but uh, nope I think they should uh, just crack down you know start making I mean if the, you know somebody sells it to the kids then you know punish them you know don't punish the vaping stores who are legit and sell their stuff to only people over 21 and all that because you know like I said I live here in Columbus Ohio and we'll get to that next um, and then that'll be it uh, but I live here in Columbus Ohio and who knows how many vaping stores Columbus has you know so uh, and all those businesses are gonna go under because you know the government wants to because yes there's been I think like eight maybe nine people that's died from vaping uh, but they were all THC you know they weren't bought in a vaping store but yet they're gonna make that's kinda like one kid being bad and, and they punished the whole playground so you know that that's the best way to look at it okay so you know if anybody that has any influence at all is watching this video you know share it whatever because uh, I think it's crazy I think you know they should uh, punish the people who sell the illegal THC which is basically marijuana laced which is illegal in a lot of states and the places where it is legal then it's regulated you know it's monitored and make sure none of the chemicals or whatever that's killing these people is in it so they really need to you know do all that I know Washington State has already banned flavored e-cigs and that's gonna send all those vaping shops into bankruptcy so that's all I gotta say about that now the reason I said Columbus I'd get to is because 
<sighs> Here we go again. Last year it was, um, baby, it's cold outside. You know, the younger people, oh, it's offensive. It promotes date rape. Yeah, whatever. Get the hell over it. Anyway, uh, now <clears throat> they are, they are, and there's already been like eight states that's already done this. <clears throat> and I have a feeling it's going to come to Ohio here shortly. But they want to change Columbus Day from Columbus Day to Indigenous Indigenous People Day. Hell, you can't hardly get it out, let alone change your name, you know, change it. But um, that's what they want to do. And a lot of, like I said, there's been eight states that's already done that. And they're hoping that it'll become nationwide. What is it with the young people wanting to erase our history? Yes, Columbus wasn't perfect. But, you know, if you erase all the bad, then you have nothing to learn from. But you get these young people that want to change shit all the time. Like they tried to get rid of uh, Baby It's Cold Outside last Christmas. Now they want to get rid of Columbus Day. And change it to Indigenous People Day. Which that's fucking retarded. Pardon my French. It's retarded. Sorry. Um, but, uh... So there's that, and then I was telling somebody tonight, I was talking to him on my Amazon over there, and I said, now you watch, some idiot is going to try to see if they can get Columbus changed. And as soon as I said that, it came on the news where they want to change Columbus's name now. They want to change it from Columbus to something different. Okay, Columbus didn't discover America, although the history books say that, but Magellan actually discovered it first, although he, you know, he just went on by or whatever. But it's always been Columbus Day. That's what they did with Abraham Lincoln and George Washington Day. You know, the two most popular presidents. And they went and took George Washington's birthday and Abraham Lincoln's birthday and abolished that and just made it President's Day. You know, now they want to get rid of Columbus Day and change it to that ridiculous name. Let's see, what else? Oh, yeah. They want to... <laughs> here's a good one. They also want to change Halloween. Now, everybody knows when Halloween falls. Halloween falls on October 31st, but they want to change it to be in the last Saturday of October and not be on the 31st. Well, let me tell you something. If, if they manage to do that, I don't give a hoot what anybody says. In this here household, guess what? Halloween will be celebrated on October 31st, and that's it. So if they do change it, they can hug it. Because I'm still going to celebrate Halloween October 31st. And I just can't figure, figure out why these idiotic millennials or Generation X or whatever you want to call these people, they want to change things. They want to try to change things to the way they want instead of sticking with tradition. Um... You know, they do that with movies. They Look at all these ridiculous remakes that they come out with, like Chucky and um, Pet Cemetery and It and, you know, all these. They remake them because they think they can do them better. Well, guess what? 99.9% .9 of the time, the remakes flop because they don't. You know, they, they don't improve them. They just make them worse. Or they'll take an old TV show and try to make it into a movie, <clears throat> like Dukes of Hazard or Lost in Space or something like that. They just need to leave stuff alone. Leave Halloween alone. Leave Columbus Day alone. Leave Columbus, Ohio the hell alone. I, uh oh, man, I don't know. It's just crazy. But these millennials and Generation X people, whatever, want to change everything. They just need to, you know, they, they need to worry about, 
you know, whether or not they're going to get the new iPhone or not and quit worrying about trying to change the name of a city or change the name of uh, a holiday. Now, the only thing that they do want to do, and this I do agree with, it's not really the millennials that are doing this, it's other people, I guess, too, but they want to change where we don't change time anymore. And they interviewed a farmer and he made sense because he said that when they change the time it messes up their stock you know, like cows or whatever they're used to being fed say like at eight o'clock right now it'd be eight o'clock at night just say in two more weeks when we turn the clocks back it would be seven o'clock instead of eight and that you know messes them up but you know they can I'd be okay if they you know just left time the way it is right now so it doesn't get dark at 5 it gets dark at 6 that would be a little bit more tolerable but you know who knows if they'll they probably won't do that but they probably will change Columbus Day guess what yesterday was Columbus Day this is now Tuesday morning at how I don't even know what time it is anyway but uh, um, they'll probably end up getting that thing changed and who knows but anyway that's all I wanted to talk about next video is going to be a lot cheerier because I'm going to make another video and come up here and talk about Halloween so because um, it's right around the corner see today's Tuesday so actually two weeks from tomorrow will be Halloween Eve so that's pretty cool I can't wait but alright well everybody peace out leave stuff alone um, leave the vapors alone leave the holidays alone and quit trying to screw things up for people who do like the traditional stuff next thing you know they're gonna change Christmas to being the third Monday of every month instead of on December 25th which you know or maybe the fourth Monday that ought to be interesting kind of run in with New Year's or whatever who knows but anyway all right well everybody have a great day and I will talk to you all later all right have a great day and like I said leave stuff alone if you want to do anything if you if you really want to change something millennials Go into the hairdresser and get your hair done. Change that. Put on different lipstick. Put on different eyelash. Whatever. Put on, you know, you might want to try changing clothes now and then or something. Do that. But leave the stuff that's supposed to be left alone. Leave it alone. All right. Peace out. Remember to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button so you can watch more of my great videos <laughs> so all right peace have a great day See you.